In this lecture, we're going to look at the selection rules that exist in quantum mechanics when electrons transition between energy states. So let's suppose we have an electron within some given atom and that electron gains a certain quantity of energy in the form of a photon of light that has just the right frequency so our electron jumps from a lower energy state to a higher energy state. Now conversely, the opposite can also take place. So basically, if an electron transitions from a higher energy state to a lower energy state in the process, it will release a photon of light that has a certain given frequency as shown in the following diagram. Now in quantum mechanics, we know that certain electron transitions are more likely to take place than others. The ones that have a high probability of taking place, these transitions are known as the allow transitions. And the transitions that are very improbable, the ones that are less likely to take place are known as the forbidden transitions. And in quantum mechanics, a set of rules exist known as the selection rules that basically tell us which transitions are the allow transitions. And these rules are given by these two rules. So, rule number one tells us that delta L or the change in orbital quantum number during our transition is either positive one or negative one. So basically positive one means that our electron jumps from a lower to a higher energy state and a negative one means our electron jumps from a higher energy state to a lower energy state. So basically this rule tells us that the electron cannot jump between two orbitals that differ by more than one orbital quantum number and the change in L cannot be equal to zero. Now the second rule tells us that the change in the magnetic quantum number is either zero or positive or negative one. Now to see exactly what we mean by these two rules, Let's suppose we have an electron that is found in the 2p orbital of the hydrogen atom. So, here we have a diagram of the 2s orbital and the 2p orbital. So what exactly is the 2s orbital? So the 2s orbital has a principal quantum number of n equals 2, it has an orbital quantum number of l equals 0, and our magnetic quantum number ml is equal to 0. Now in contrast, the 2p orbital basically has three different orientations. We have one along the x-axis, one along the y-axis, and one along the z-axis. So the one along the x-axis has a magnetic quantum number of ml equals negative 1. Now our y-axis oriented orbital has a magnetic quantum number of ml equals 0, and the z1 has an ml of plus 1. Now for e each one of these orbitals, the principal quantum number as well as the orbital quantum number is exactly the same. The difference lies in the magnetic quantum number. Now, the question that we want to examine is the following. Suppose our electron is found in either one of these orbitals. Let's suppose it's found in the 2pz orbital. The question is, if we follow these selection rules, can our electron actually jump from our 2pz orbital to the 2s orbital? So from the selection rules, we see that the electron can in fact jump from any one of these 2p orbitals to the 2s orbital. And the reason is, if we look at the change in the orbital quantum number, we go from L equals 1 to L equals 0. And this corresponds
corresponds to a delta L of negative 1. So that means regardless of whether our electron is found in the 2PY, the 2PZ, or the 2PX, that electron can in fact transition from either one of these orbitals to the 2S orbitals and release a photon of light. Now on the contrary, let's suppose our electron wants to transition from the 2PZ to the 2PY or from the 2PY to the 2PX. Can that actually take place? So notice that the electron cannot actually jump between one of these three 2p orbitals and that's because in such a case the change in the orbital quantum number delta L will be equal to zero and delta L cannot actually take place. So basically these transitions are known as the forbidden transitions and this transition as discussed earlier is known as the allow transition. Now once again even though this transition is known as the forbidden transition that basically means it can actually still take place but it is very unlikely there is a very small probability that such a transition will actually take place versus in this case where there is a very high probability that such a transition can actually actually take place. So once again, these rules known as the selection rules are in place and are used in quantum mechanics to determine which electron transitions are the probable ones and which ones are the improbable ones.